channel my name is Kimberly also known as Mvali thank you so so much for 4,000 subscribers we are road to 5k and then after that we'll be road to 10k so in today's video I'm showing you guys how I perfect my base and I'm basically recreating a look that I had for um, the so-called launch of Fenty that Ark had like you know the storm visit thing that they had and I'm recreating that look that's I'm wearing these lovely gorgeous earrings over here because that's exactly what I had on um, but I'm only going to be showing you guys the pole, the base routine of it all and not necessarily the smaller detail like the eyes and without any further ado let's get straight into this video okay so my skin is already prepped of course I have my skincare and everything it is already on but I'm going to go in with primer and I've been looking for the Fenty Beauty primer because it is one of the products that are being offered with Fenty Beauty coming to Africa um, but they don't have stock anywhere and I've literally run out of mine as you can see so I look like a crazy person right now but I've managed to get some of um, the primer onto my face I really love this primer I really like what a color corrector does um, when I am going for full glam of course we're going for full coverage full glam if you're not into full coverage you can skip some of the steps that I'm going through right here I'm blending out my color corrector just with this flat foundation brush as you can see my brushes aren't exactly clean um, it was rainy and I couldn't clean it and I was like I'm not gonna wait to film this video um but this is the brush that i only use for my color corrector that's why you can see that it is quite orange okay so i've seen this trick on tiktok and i'm 100 percent for it and that is kind of getting it was a celebrity hack i think and that is celebs what they usually do is they mix like a skin tint with the foundation to get like a flawless flawless finish um i'm kind of doing that in a sense and i'm using my skin tint from Fenty Beauty um, and I'm in the shade 17 of course they give you a shade range for the shade of foundation that you are in and what I like doing with this is just popping it over wherever I have um, color corrected because it will kind of even that out before I go in with the foundation and also it gets kind of that flawlessness that this trick is supposed to um, get done I'm blending this out. I'm using a flat foundation blending brush and I'm just going over um, where I've color corrected with the skin tint. It does look like a lot, but it's very, very lightweight. Also, doing this step will ensure that I'm using less foundation than I usually would on a typical day when I'm trying to cover up um, with my foundation. You'll see I'm using stippling motions. Um, I'm using stippling motion so that the product is not moving around and I'm able to control it do you see that massive difference it gives and it definitely does like the whole blurring type of thing that the skin tint um, claims to do it definitely does that it looks really good on the skin this um, skin tint looks really good on the skin the skin tint is on and now i'm ready to go in with foundation and the foundation that i'm going in with is the fenty beauty foundation um, i'm gonna try and mix like half a pump of each of the soft matte and the hydrating so i'm going in in the back of my hand and i'm mixing very tiny little of each of them because i don't need a lot of foundation so it's about that much i'm just going to mix it at the back of my hand and i'm using a stippling brush it's a different brush to the one that i used with the skin tint this is more dense um so obviously it will increase the coverage and make sure that we're not shearing anything out the fenty beauty foundation is a medium to full coverage or medium coverage and it is buildable that's the kind of foundation that it is so it's not a full coverage foundation um, so I'm kind of trying to get the most out of it by using a brush and not using a sponge um, I do enjoy using sponges now for my foundation, but I use the sponge after um, I've already used the brush Honestly, I'm looking at my skin and it literally looks so flawless like it looks hella hella flawless 
the concealer that I'm going in with is the Fenty Beauty Concealer um, and it is in the shade 360 and I'm just going to highlight this is not the only concealer I'm using because this is just like a tad bit lighter than me with the concealer when you're kind of highlighting I don't want to take away from the shape or like I don't want to make my face look too wide and that's what can happen when you're brightening your face or applying your highlighter you can make your face look too wide so I like to be very very precise when I'm placing my concealer for highlights um, so I've already placed it right here you'll see that I didn't drag it down completely the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it up from my nose area from the corner of my nose and the corner of my mouth like so and that kind of assists in lifting the face as opposed to dragging everything down and then I'm just going to highlight as per usual everywhere else okay so my highlight is on and this is my first kind of layer of highlights the reason why it's my first layer of highlight because it just gives a little brightness um, it just highlights the face and then if I, I really like a bright under eye so I'll follow up with a brighter concealer just in the corner of my eyes for the under eye but we can chat about that once I get to that step right now while that concealer is kind of drying down and getting a little tacky I'm going to go in with the concealer or the product that I'm using for my cream contour so I always say and I always advocate placing product at the back of your hand before you're going in with it onto your skin because that kind of gives you more of a flawless kind of look and a flawless finish so i'm going to try and do that today so this is my revlon color stay foundation stick that i'm placing in the back of my hand and then i'm using my quick face you guys would remember this from my previous video i'm using my quick face concealer palette the darker shade over there and i'm just placing it and i'm mixing it with the revlon i really like um the warmth the richness of the color in this palette i really really love it again the contour where you'll see that i dragged my highlights up here and i'm just going to um, reinforce that lift by placing the contour right above it bringing it inward toward the eyelid that's also another way of kind of um, ensuring that you are contouring the face and you're lifting the face my highlights and my contour is completely on and now i'm going to go in with my brush that i usually use to blend out my contour and i'm going to blend out the contour but when i'm blending out my contour what i like doing is going in circular motions going in circular motions ensures that i'm shearing out the product so even if i went in directly with my product onto my skin um, blending it out in this manner make sure that I'm shearing it out so that it looks kind of soft and not too harsh I've been loving using a beauty blender for my highlight nowadays for my concealer and it just gives this stunning finish um, so I'm going in with my beauty blender right here and I'm using stippling motions but I'm just ensuring that I'm not dragging the product down and I'm just lifting it up while blending there you go I think you can see the difference I don't know if you guys can tell let me know in the comment section down below if you can tell the difference um, on how that contour kind of snatched the face if you are planning on getting the Fenty Beauty concealer um, please do know it dries really quickly and once it dries it's very difficult to blend so waiting for it like i did right now is not necessarily something that you want to do it's going to kind of um take away lines of demarcation you'll see one over there there are more over here but i'm just going to go in and blend everything until i'm happy with how everything looks for that, I'm using the brush that I use with my um, tinted moisturizer or you can use your foundation brush. I'm just using this because it's lighter. Just trying to blend through 
the lines of demarcation that I'm seeing. Okay, so if I wasn't going for something like really um, full coverage or whatever, this is where I would end. Because I am going for something that's very glam, very full coverage, very bright, love a bright under eye. I'm going to go in with an additional concealer and that is Revlon Colorstay as well as L'Oreal. The Revlon Colorstay is a bit lighter um, and I like when I blend it out that I can like sheer it out. It's not as heavy whereas the L'Oreal is a very full coverage concealer. So I don't like having that in too many places. Um, on my face because it might feel heavy so I'm going in with the L'Oreal and I'm only going to go in and I'm only going into the corners in a corner of my eye for this I use a brush to blend this out because I don't want to move the product around too much. I don't want to go in with a beauty blender, but I will follow up with a beauty blender. So I'm using my brush over here. The L'Oreal concealer um, needs blending like almost immediately. So I'm just going to blend that out first. When I'm blending it out, I'm kind of stamping it along my nose so I can get um, a nose contour, reverse contour situation going. And I can uh, kind of assist my nose contour in that manner. I will blend it out later, but for now I'm just stamping it like on the sides of the nose to kind of get that going. So you can probably see like the nose contour kind of forming and then I'm just going to blend the rest of the concealer with a brush okay so looking kind of snatched but I say and I urge you and I repeat do not leave it like this because if your creams aren't blended out properly by the time you go in with powders it will be very difficult to fix um, like I said although I did stamp that over there I will go over with my foundation brush over there um, just to soften that and blend it out and don't be afraid if your supposed nose contour disappears at that point it is fine because you can also um, do and have the exact same effect with with powder see harsh but now it's blended and it looks better and this is what it looked like okay, I'm happy with how that is looking really really happy in my forehead I have the cream blush from she glam I'm not sure if they still sell it in South Africa but once these run out I'll probably grab the Huda Beauty cream blush I did see they have some stunning shades in that blush so i'm just gonna blend it out with a very fluffy brush and i'm just tapping again like i said ensure that your blend is perfect before you go in with your powders because you can't fix a, bla a bad blend um, once you have gone in with your powder so i really like this i really really like this I like how it's looking. I also like taking the brush that has some of that um, highlighter concealer and kind of diffusing the um, blush with it. It looks really good and then it looks like like that over there. Very seamless. When I think about you babes and what I want you guys to say about me, I want to say, I want you guys to say, Mbani taught us how to blend. Okay, so now I'm ready to go in with my powder. I use a lot of powders. Mm, for different reasons but anyway the first powder that I'm going in with is my Laura Mercier powder I really like using this powder like as the first powder that I go in with um, to kind of set my concealer because it's very lightweight if I'm going for a natural look and I'm not going for full glam I will stop with the Laura Mercier um, con uh, powder but usually this is what I go in with first so I'm grabbing powder behind um, this beauty blender and I'm just going to even it out by using the back of my hand I've already gone in and blended my concealer I'll just see if I need to blend it again I'm going in with my powder 
my beauty blender is damp can you see that difference my beauty blender is damp but if it's too wet it's going to clump up the powder you can usually tell when you're picking it up if it's got like a little bit of clump to it then you need to know that your beauty blender is too wet if you aren't able to blend it out and make it like kind of smooth and even i use a very small amount of the powder because i'm not trying to bake I'm doing that because I know I'm going to dust it off right now. Go in with um, powder on the rest of my face. I'm going in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder as well as my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I mix them together. They give kind of like the perfect shade. And I'm using a big fluffy brush and I'm just buffing everywhere else where I didn't place that Laura Mercier powder even over the contour. And I'm also using it to kind of dust off what i've placed on here my camera is going out of focus a lot and it's kind of annoying me for my console i'm using my revlon powder i've literally hit pan just because it's that good i really just like the color um the nice toasty kind of color it is like a, a finishing powder so i like the toasty color so that is my perfect contour and again i'm placing it exactly where i placed my contour my cream contour earlier As you can see it's already doing what it needs to do and again i'm going in circular motions of course on the sides i just want to make sure that i'm not dragging it down but i'm going in circular motions because i that's the best way of blending it out Okay, that is how we're looking. The second powder that I love using is my Huda Beauty powder, and that is in the shade Banana Bread. Absolutely love the shade. It's got like this yellowish tone to it. And again, I'm not baking, I'm just placing the powder. Um, I'm reinforcing my nose contour situation, so I'm using, I'm doing that over there. this caring in the hermosa flow palette it's not a blush it is a um what do you call it an eyeshadow but i really like the color so i use it for blush and i'm just going to place the blush exactly where i placed the blush the cream blush right there and once i've kind of used up all the product that's on the brush then i'll maybe edge into the front to kind of bring the blush on the inner corners if i feel like there's a line of demarcation like i feel over here there's a line of demarcation i usually just go in with my powder my Huda beauty powder and i dust just a bit of it and i go over the blush so it kind of diffuses that diffused right now i'm going to do my eyes and my brows off camera then i'm gonna come back and finish off my base hey my babes i'm back i nearly did not come back because <laughs> i was chilling having a good time eating anyway so i'm going to do my nose contour i'm going in with the same contour shade i've already done my eyes and my brows as well I'm taking the, the contour powder and what i'm doing is i'm gonna just edge in from so you'll see that there is a bit of pigment over there that's from the transition shade that i use I'm just going to edge in and kind of extend from that and not add too much and then i'm just going to take it up into the brow into the start of the brow so this is an angle brush that i'm using so i'm able to do that also i don't want to come too close to the bridge of the nose straight up to do my nose i just do this over here and then go over the top I'm just going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury spray and just spray my face to set everything in place. I have my She Glam powder over here. It's dark white, but it's not white. It does have a bit of a glitter, which is annoying. Um, I'm taking the powder puff that it comes with and I'm just going to dab a bit of the powder, like as little as possible. That's not little as possible. Just kind of under my eye. To go 
in with my brush to dust it away and that's what you get and just like that you are looking very bright i'm about to put on these lashes then i'll be back and we'll do the lip and complete the rest of the look my babies i'm back I'll finish off the rest of my face and i'll also line my lips using the new constance beauty um you guys might know it as connie transform she has new lipsticks that she released and this is in the shade mahogany that's what i used to line my lips and it's really really comfortable on the lips i love that and then i'm going to use the stunner the stunner lip paint oh that is pretty okay that's fine i think gloss bomb in the shade fussy i like this lip combo I'm not gonna put in the oh look at <laughs> international slay mama <laughs> anyway so this is basically how i looked oh my gosh if i have to say so myself i look delicious honestly look delicious this is basically how i achieve my full glam full coverage kind of makeup if you enjoyed this video and you found it really really helpful please let me know in the comment section down below do share like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for staying tuned until the very very end love and light to you and yours bye babes